World War I left millions of soldiers dead and millions more wounded. New and advanced battlefield technologies pummeled human bodies, often leaving behind horrific scars, and around 280,000 soldiers came home from the war with brutal facial injuries. When British soldiers returned from war with these wounds, they were called the loneliest Tommies. If they ventured from the hospital, they were told to sit on bright blue benches so the public could avoid looking at them. Dr. Harold Gillies, known as the father of modern plastic surgery, worked tirelessly to help soldiers who suffered facial injuries during World War I. After convincing the British War Office to open a hospital devoted to facial reconstruction, Gillies performed more than 11,000 operations for over 5,000 men from 1917 to 1925. Despite having no textbooks or mentors to guide him, the surgeon pioneered several new skin grafting techniques to help rebuild veterans' faces. Harold Gillies was one of few medical professionals at the time who focused specifically on treating facial injuries and helping despondent soldiers. By 1917, he had received permission to open the Queen's Hospital, the first facility in the world that only treated facial injuries, and he got to work. To treat his patients, Gillies worked tirelessly on developing new methods to rebuild bones and skin grafting techniques to reconstruct soft tissue. Remarkably, he also banned mirrors in some sections of his hospital so that newly wounded soldiers wouldn't be upset when they saw their injuries. Here are some before and after pictures of World War I. Soldiers who were helped by pioneering plastic surgeon Harold Gillies. A soldier identified as Winch, who was treated by surgeon Harold Gillies after experiencing a facial injury on the battlefield. During the Battle of Passchendaele, 19-year-old Sidney Beldham suffered a horrific facial wound. The soldier, who served with the 9th Scottish Division, wasn't expected to survive his injuries. But thanks in part to the work of Dr. Harold Gillies, he lived another 60 years. These striking before and after photographs show a patient before he was admitted to Gillies' hospital and after he underwent a cheek procedure. This patient suffered a double shell wound to his face, which Gillies and his team helped repair. Gillies then continued in private practice for years. When World War II broke out, he once again leaped into action to help British soldiers. Indeed, Dr. Harold Gillies remained devoted to his work even in his final days. If you had a great time watching this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell icon right next to it.